My name's Gary, I'm with Mind and Draw, and I'm here again today to do some drawing with you. Uh, I'm going to be showing you some exercises that have been done through the drawing sessions uh, in Glasgow, uh, which can be done at home. And today we're going to be doing some uh, sensory drawing. An idea with sensory drawing, it's all about the sense of touch. And the idea, you just need some drawing materials like this, some pens, crayons, soft passes, whatever, anything you can find, as if kind of free range with this one, and a piece of paper. But also, you need a bag and you need four objects, which you can find around the house, any kind of object, it's up to you. And the idea is you put your object in the bag, and then what you do, this is where you go into the drawing bit, is you get the person to put the hand in the bag, and you have a little feel. You feel the objects. And what you do, you draw what you feel. That's really it. So you feel the object, and you draw what object that is. It's all about sense of touch, and think of what colour it is, how it feels. And you get four turns in this, so when you feel the object first, you draw it, then you put your hand back in, then you draw the next object, and then so on and so on. So when you've got four objects, that's the end of the exercise. So that's the end of it. So you get four objects, put them in the bag, draw what you feel, have a couple of goals, just draw them. So very simple, very simple exercise, which can be done through kids and adults. I really good at I do this with my nephews, it's a lot of fun, and um, I totally recommend you doing this because this can be easily done at home. So I'm going to do it first, and it's very simple. I'm going to put my hand in like this. So again, not seeing the objects. I don't know what the objects are. I'm just going to put the objects in. And I'm just going to pick one object right now, and I'm just going to feel what it is. So I feel this one right now. It looks quite a kind of oval shape. So I'm just thinking of an oval shape, but I'm also thinking what colour it might be. So I'm going to go with grey here, and I'm just going to try and draw it like that. So I'm just going to do an oval shape. It might be a tin. I don't know, maybe. So I'm just going to go and turn here. I'm going to do this really quickly because of the video. Uh, that's why I show a really quick demonstration. But you should take your time on this and just not rush it. And you can get many bags and do a week. If you're doing this in a group, such as a family, you, know, you can have four bags and all work together and stuff like that. So I've done my first object, so I'll put my hand back in and I'll draw another object. I see a lot of kind of, kind of wiry kind of thing, a little wiry. So I'm going to kind of get a pen in this. And I'm just going to do a kind of squiggly line. It's not going to be easy to kind of draw this to perfection, so I'm just going to do a kind of, kind of squiggly line like this. And I felt a wee kind of bobbled as well. I don't know what that looked kind of interesting as well. So I'm going to do a wee bobble there. So I'm just doing this really quickly for you guys and just see how it's done and stuff like that. So again, done the second object. Now I put the hand back in, two the other ones. I feel like a ball. I'm going to kind of know what that is. Um, yeah, so I can do that right away. Sometimes you'll get that, you'll get some objects that you know right away, I know what it is. So if you know what it is, brilliant, just get it drawn. And then just so I can, I know this one already. I'm just going to do this really quickly. Give you guys a sec. There we go. And the last one, it looks like a kind of square. I'm going to try to really pop that in the kind of so I'm going to get a, uh, let's see, okay. you, can, you can use anything you want, it's up to you, uh, pen, it's up to you, uh, I'm just using all the different materials here, and I'm going to put that one there, and uh, let's see, I'm going to do it, it's like a kind of square like, and a wee kind of groove as well, I'm just going to put a wee kind of groove, it was like a switch, I don't know if it's more than a wee switch, so I've done the drawings, so I've done four drawings, and then I've got to try and figure out what the drawings are, so, Going back from my first one, that looks like a tin, so I'm going to think that looks like a kind of grey tin. Think about the colour as well, so I'm going to say grey tin. Here, it looks like wires, I'm thinking maybe earphones as well, so I'm going to go earphones. I knew right away what this one was, this kind of yellow one, it was right away a test, but I felt it right away, the kind of fabric there, so that's a definite tin as well. And then the last one, I wasn't sure, I was thinking pencil case, I was thinking, so I was, that was the first thing that came to me. I couldn't get the colour, that was a difficult. So I'm going to go with that. So I'm going for the four objects there. And then after that, you figure out what the objects are. So right here, got the tin. That's right, grey tin. That's the first one there, grey tin. And then going to the earphones. Earphones, and I was right there. Just I felt the bulb were there. That helped me there. That was a good one there. And then the next one, tennis ball. Totally good there. That, that's the part about the fabric. Just felt it there. And there we go. Tennis ball there. And the last one, that's an alarm clock. A very old school alarm clock. Didn't get that one there. I did feel to be switched, but I couldn't feel the, the kind of clock there. So there we go. So I got that one wrong, but that's always part of fun of it. And that's what sensor drawing is all about. You get four objects. I do this sometimes with fruit as well. Fruit, yeah, I've got my, it's up to you. Any object, just put them in the back. Um, 
have a bit of fun with it. It's all about sense of what it's great exercise for kids and adults, and it's a lot of fun. And I would totally recommend doing this as well. Again, if you get a chance to do this, tag Find and Draw on the social media and see how you get on. And uh, look out for the next uh, exercise. Uh, thank you.